Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at three big features coming to WordPress 6.7 through beta 1 that was just released. Now's a great time to test WordPress 6.7 and of course get your feedback uh, and all of your bug testing out of the way to help the team continue to develop WordPress. You still care about WordPress, right? Let's get into today's tutorial. Running a beta version in the playground. You can go to playground.wordpress.net and launch your own version of WordPress right inside your browser without having to install it anywhere else. This is a great time to start testing WordPress 6.7 and giving feedback in the multiple areas that you, know, you find most interesting. Um, largely maybe 2025 theme as um, they're always looking for feedback on the shape and design and development of 2025. Playground, fun fact, uh, has a bit of an update happening. You'll see these four little icons up top, and now I can run multiple instances of my WordPress playgrounds right inside the browser. I can save them inside the browser. That's getting a lot uh, better and a lot more efficient. Um, and what I do is I switch my uh, instance into a nightly build, which will give me the most up-to-date code that's committed to, uh, to WordPress that I can run right here in the browser. So have fun using Playground. Let's go into the admin of this site. And we will log in here and begin to explore some of the things with WordPress 6.7. Let's start with the theme. Click on theme. We'll see that we are running 2025, says version 1, but we're still far from version 1. Let's go to the editor. And I think for me, the biggest uh, improvement since the last time that I looked at 2025, which was literally right when it launched, <laughs> like the whole concept of it launched. So there wasn't much there. Uh, we can now go into the patterns section and start to look at all the patterns that are specific to uh, 2025. And you can start to play with these patterns, customize these patterns, um, test, most importantly, test and give feedback uh, on these patterns as you see fit. So you can start to come in here and see the ones that are being developed. Um, I don't know if all of them have been finalized, uh, but there's, you know, and, and maybe some of these aren't even completely done at, at this point, uh, but I don't know if all of them have been built into the theme yet. We'll have to see and wait as this starts to uh, iterate and get developed on, okay? If we go to templates, we can see most of the templates here. So this is where it's certainly uh, incomplete. It's much more complete than what it was when I first uh, looked at it, uh, but we don't have a complete template for any of the, let's say, home pages, and I don't know if they're going to do any other like uh, archive pages or particular blog pages with templates on this, or if they're just going to let the end user put their patterns in, uh, but we can come into the templates and see what is being built out uh, now, and we have the structure, but we don't have like the complete home pages yet. So I certainly uh, suspect that the blog home will be much more defined uh, maybe in a couple of weeks uh, so that we can see what the, uh, what the home page is going to look like when they have all of their patterns uh, designed and implemented. Another fun feature that uh, I think I explored in another video, but one of the things I'm looking forward to is working with patterns. When you start to build out templates, uh, there's a new zoom out mode. And the zoom out mode helps us get these patterns into our pages and templates a little bit easier. Let's see if we can demonstrate that right on this template page. We're going to click the plus, patterns, call to action. Let's add this one in. And if we zoom out with this icon up top where it says toggle zoom out, click that. And the whole page literally zooms out <laughs> and allows us to add in uh, more patterns and move them about the page and the template a whole heck of a lot easier than we could before. I don't know why I can't click on this. Is maybe because I accidentally inserted it in the footer area. Uh, but if I hover over this pattern that I just dropped in, you can see I have the plus uh, buttons, which allows me to drop in a pattern there. We can drag that in as well, and that works uh, just the same. So when we're working with patterns in WordPress 6.7, things are going to be a little bit easier uh, to navigate while you're doing it. I don't know too much about the shuffle feature. I talked to Ann McCarthy about this uh, at WordCamp U this past WordCamp US. Shuffling, eh, it seems kind of cool, but I don't know if you're just going to sit there and keep shuffling to find the pattern you want versus being able to just bring the pattern right in. If we click on edit, that'll zoom right back into the typical editor view at normal viewport, and then you can dive in and start editing your pattern. 
There's a bunch of things under the hood of WordPress 6.7 that are being enhanced, APIs, code, function, speed, efficiency, all of that stuff, uh, but only a handful of things that we can tangibly play with today, like the 2025 theme, which I just showed off, the zoom out pattern uh, feature, and now the data uh, the data views are starting to get enhanced where we can start to uh, preview the size of the data. Right, right now, we're just looking at page uh, templates, but this might eventually be, or not might, but will be, uh, pages, posts, and other data that WordPress can natively surface um, through data views. I would imagine things like users, roles, and managing a site with a lot of users. I, mean, I could be jumping the gun here, but I, it seems like a natural progression for all data inside of WordPress to be able to get ported into data views. We have some more controls now, like previewing the size, the order, um, at least in this case, sort by template and author, items per page, and then the properties to either toggle these on and off. But I can certainly see this getting enhanced for the pages and the posts in the future for a sort of new experience of uh, the admin. Of course, users might be sort of that next uh, obvious step. So three major things that we can play with right now in WordPress 6.7 2025 theme, zoom out patterns, and taking a look at how data views is getting um, enhanced and used for the future of WordPress. I mentioned there's a lot of things under the hood. WordPress 6.7 beta one article uh, posted on the official wordpress.org blog. I'll link this up in the description below so you can kind of see all of the other things that are happening behind the scenes. Media improvements like the HEIC support from iPhone will now uh, obviously get, uh, uh, when you upload it to your WordPress site, it'll get supported right in the page or post that you're putting it in, I think depending on your, your web host. A uh, lot of other things like expanding block support, preview options, API, um, refining data views. We just talked about that. Manage block bindings directly. Uh, simplified and smarter query loop block. I was going to show this off. It's not tremendously better. Like it's it's nice that it understands like which uh, template you're on, uh, but uh, the query block still has a long way to go. And maybe in the next version, uh, beta one, and as we get closer to 6.7, there'll be some other things there that we can show off that are a little bit more tangible. So check out the full post if you're interested in learning more uh, direct from the source of WordPress. Otherwise, thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more WordPress because you do want more WordPress, don't you? Uh, we'll see you in the next video.